Hi, I'm Jeff with the Halcyon Masters, and this is The Road to Rebellion. Rebellions are born from necessity, ideology, hope, or the need to survive. Powerful principles that compel individuals to extreme measures. In the first part of this series, we will cover how Kensi and Kinetic join the fight. But this story is much larger than just two heroes. It will change the landscape of Vainglory and tease the entrance of even more characters. Before we get into the story, we must first hit the intro. Let's begin with a history lesson. The land we know as the Halcyon Fold was once a thriving mecca of culture and politics. The land was known as Rillium, and at its center was a well of power. This well started to overflow and alarmed certain groups. Fringe, an almost cult-like scientist, believed the moon and alignment of the planets exerted a tidal pull, bringing with it the apocalypse. Fearing the worst, people left Aurelium to settle the Obsidian Crater, a natural stronghold north of their lands. They called this new settlement Githia. As predicted, the well in Aurelium overflowed and destroyed their civilization. Those that did not flee to Githia settled across the waterways and founded cities like New Aurelium, Renea, and the Tizan Gate. Unlike their Githian neighbors, life was harsh, the churn was always a threat, and they did their best to fight back. And fight they did with technology. Thus, the technologists were created. Githia's fortification and isolation led them to prosperity. They founded a political system based on guilds, with each receiving a portion of the available resources. Isolation can only be sustained so long, and over time, resources ran thin. Githia used their power to pull resources from the surrounding areas at the expense of their neighbors' goodwill. The history lesson is almost over, but this next part is where the seeds of rebellion were planted. Representatives from Githia met with the heads of the five technologist dynasties. The heads included Ulrich, Kinetic's father, Serena from the Campestrian family, and Jovis from Rhenia. The technologists demanded equal seating on the Githian Council, a move that would grant both political parity and equal share in the distribution of resources. The Archmage of Githia scoffed at the request, encountered with the offer of one seat and one share of steel. Ulrich, with the help of his daughter, rose from the table and threatened war if equality was not provided. He assumed the technologists would rally together and bring the fight to Githia. Instead, Jovis sliced off his head and claimed the seat for himself, alienating the other technologists and leaving Kinetic to hold her dying father. Kinetic does not take this treachery lying down, and she makes it her life's mission to extract revenge. It just so happens another act of treachery gives her the weapon and power she needs to strike against Githia. That weapon is the Kensei. The Kensei is a title given to a swordmaster, an individual that personifies the martial arts. With the title comes reputation, and reputation is wealth. The Kensei fights for honor and is bound to their mission. On this fateful day, the Kensei arrived at the Taizan Gate's docks. Little did he know that the day would take a twist and put him in the middle of Kinetic's plot to overthrow Githia. His destination was the third boss's mansion on the outskirts of the city. Bosses are the top of their respective crime syndicates, controlling their territory with power, fear, and force. The Kensei challenges Pei, the third boss to a duel. Pei agrees and sets the term. The duel will be a fight to the death with blades only. The two fight, trading blow for blow. However, facing certain defeat, Pei cheats and turns to magic. In his hand, an explosion detonates, putting both of them in the hospital. Kinetic finds Kensei and heals his wounds, not with traditional medicine, but with cybernetics. News of Kensei's survival travel through the third boss's crime family, and in large numbers, they rally behind the Kensei, the new boss of the Taizan Gate. Kinetic did not save Kensei out of goodwill. She saved him to leverage his position as the new boss. Kinetic placed a failsafe deep into the cybernetic implants, effectively turning him into her criminal puppet, a criminal with a purpose. If you're wondering what happened to Pei, he too survived the explosion. 
However, his power and reputation stripped away as honor has meaning in the Taizan Gate. The family members do not take kindly to cheaters. The Kensei slipped into his hospital room, and the two exchanged a small amount of dialogue before the Kensei slid his sword between Pei's ribs. After all, the terms of the fight were to the death. With one enemy defeated, the Kensei can now turn his attention to his second, Kinetic. To that, we will need the help of a hacker. This is part one of Kinetic and Kensei's lore. The road to rebellion is long and full of great details. In this story, there are also hints at new heroes. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you're one of the first to know when the next installment of the series is released. Until next time, we'll see you on the rise.